Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters. Let's remember that Allah Almighty is in absolute control. A way of earning the pleasure of the Almighty is to go back to the one who actually pleased him. Allah says, I am pleased with him. And subhanallah, he was pleased with Allah. So who was this person? It was none other than the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. If you would like to please Allah, go and look at how Muhammad, peace be upon him, pleased Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you will never go wrong. During difficult times, many people want something to do and they want to solve the problem in their own way. Yes, indeed, it is human nature to look at ways of solving problems, but it takes a believer to look into the true method taught to us by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the blessed lips of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let's go back and look at what he did and let's try and emulate Let's follow and let's make sure that we don't concoct our own ways of worship. I've seen people say we need to cut a mango in seven pieces and we need to read Surah Al-Fatiha and blow on every one of the pieces of that mango. And then we need to eat it at certain intervals. That is absurd, my brothers and sisters. Let's not let the devil overtake us. Remember something, you want to achieve goodness. There are those before us who have achieved that goodness and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been pleased with them. So let's earn the pleasure of Allah by crying to Allah, getting up for tahajjud early in the morning, praying when everyone is asleep, by repenting to Allah. Lots of istighfar and seeking forgiveness definitely helps us by doing a lot of charity, by remembering Allah, by increasing the recitation of the Quran, by fulfilling our five daily prayers on time, by doing all sorts of good activities, by staying away from bad, by not wasting time, by not using the internet or our phones or technology to displease Allah. Let's remember, let's increase the goodness and the Almighty will be pleased with us. We have the month of Ramadan coming up and Alhamdulillah, it's going to be awesome. Whether it is during the time in our lockdown or not, it's still going to be awesome because it is the month of khairat, the month of goodness, fasting, charity, and lots and lots of good deeds. So my brothers and sisters, let's try and welcome the beautiful month of Ramadan that's coming up in a few days with lots of positivity. Allah is in control. Remember, take all the precautions, lay your trust in Allah. Do that which is pleasing to Allah, try your best to stay away from that which is displeasing to Allah. Like I said, and I'm saying it again, don't concoct things and think I'm going to please Allah if I were to do it this way or that way. Simply go back to what the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, taught and follow it. And inshallah, we will achieve great mercy. Thank you so much for listening to the short message. I pray that it has increased you in a little bit of motivation and hope. And the same applies to all of us. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.